Jane, this is a bittersweet moment for us. I'm terribly sorry not to be here with you in person, but I'd like to give you this message by video. So uh, we've known each other a long time and I've always been impressed by your unerring moral compass. So I will organize this little tribute by the points of the compass, starting with the east, where the sun comes up, where you came from, from your background in coming to the ANU so long ago to study Chinese and I think possibly Old English, if I'm not wrong, and going to MIT. And then I think the first time I met you was in Tennant Creek, where we had the great fortune of parking our uh, Hilux in the car park in front of the townhouse you were living in there, eating at the Dolly Pot and camping, uh, camping there outside. And it's been a, a long time since then, and you have done so many things, and I'm sure that at least some fraction of those people will hear about today. That's the East. I'd like to look south next to that chilly place where it's cold because uh, I think that one of your characteristics is your realism. It's easy to have big plans uh, and uh, it's also easy for the devil in the detail to be lost and for the truck to fall apart because the bolts haven't been tightened. And you've always been someone, whether in your syntactic models or in your lexicographic practice or in the way uh, you have been such a magnificent co-director of CODAL uh, to make sure that that never happens, to bring that very special and characteristic attention to detail and rigour that has marked you through your life and career. And as someone who lacks those laudable qualities, I've always been grateful to have you as a colleague. Uh, next to the north, where the sun comes from, where warmth comes from, and this makes me think of your unerring generosity to all those around you, from your willingness to bend over backwards and help all sorts of people, even at times when one might think you were overloaded, but you will never resist the chance to just give other people a hand, to give without reserve of your time and energy and wisdom. And I actually know that this moment of transition for you to retirement, you will join all of that old growth rainforest here at ANU that we've always been so lucky to have uh, an amazing uh, staff of emeriti who are there to, to pass on uh, their wisdom to others. So it's both a farewell and a welcome uh, into, into that group. Finally, to the West, it's an obvious metaphor. When someone retires, uh, we can choose. I mean, we're filming this you know, not too far from noon, so it's certainly not sunset by any means. And I don't see this as being like that. Let's see it as being like a pleasantly warm summer afternoon. Uh, and we can see uh, the West as the place where a career is maturing, where you will have the time to draw together with a little bit more peace and quiet and concentration. So many of the projects that you've built up over your career uh, but we can also see the West as the place where the sun is heading, uh, the future, and you've always been someone who's looked uh, a very uh, long way ahead, and I'm confident that with that extra time and space in your life, you will continue to do that and bring news back to us about uh, the sun's trajectory. So, uh, I, as I said, I'm very, happy, very sad not to be there today, um, but also honoured to be able to um, pay you this little tribute and most importantly, incredibly fortunate and grateful to have had you as a dear colleague over so many years.